Hi, my name is Kevin Cavell, and I'm a Solutions Manager here at Keysight Technologies. Today I want to talk about the S-parameter measurement piece of the PD-1000A Power Device Measurement System for Advanced Modeling. So let's take a look at our setup. The S-parameter measurement system consists of a network analyzer, a two-channel power supply for biasing up the semiconductor device. Uh, we have a fixture for a TO247 package, two bias T's to block the DC from the bias supply from going into the network analyzer and also to block the high frequency coming out of the network analyzer from going into the bias supply. And then you also notice we have some calibration standards. Uh, so before we do our first measurement, we want to calibrate all, out all the wiring in the bias T, uh, and we'll use the calibration standard for that. Uh, everything is controlled by uh, our PD-1000A control software. So now let me go to that software and set up our off-state measurement, and then we'll do a, a, the calibration and uh, then our on-state measurement. So if you go to the software, uh, when you open it up, it's on the IV CV measurement tab. If we move down to the off-state measurement, uh, you can see some of the settings that are uh, pre-set up for us already. If I just have to go down and click Start, it will connect to the network analyzer and uh, it asks me to calibrate it. So the calibration is fairly simple. Uh, we go over to the network analyzer. Uh, this is actually the only part where we need to interface directly with the network analyzer. We'll select two port calibration uh, and also uh, for DUT connections, there's a special uh, setting called pin uh, that you'll receive when you order this particular solution. We'll set port one to TO fixture in and port two to TO fixture out. Uh, then click next and we go into our calibration procedure. Um, the first is uh, port one open. So I'll take that Cal standard, plug it into our fixture, uh, click measure. Then we'll go to the next one is uh, short of port one. measure again and we keep going through this until we've completed all of the different calibration standards. Alright, once that's complete, uh, the calibration is complete, we can click OK. If we want to, we can save the calibration uh, into the instrument so we don't have to calibrate that out again. Uh, but we'll skip that step for today. We'll click Finish. Now everything's been calibrated on the ENA. I'll plug in my actual uh, silicon carbide MOSFET into our fixture. This is actually where we want to make our measurements, our S-parameter measurements. Uh, and I'll go back over to the software and click Continue. And the off-state S-parameter measurements will begin to show up on the screen. Over on the right, you can see the measurements are being taken according to the parameters that we set. Now that the test is finished, all of the data is saved into uh, our folder. So we take a look at common settings. It's in our PD-1000A measurement data folder uh, in Windows. You can see uh, the .s2p files are where all the measurements have been saved. Now if we want to do the same thing, we go to for on state, so the bias supply is going to be turning the MOSFET on and we're going to do the S parameter measurements again. Uh, we just click on on state tab, click start. It's going to ask us to calibrate again, but since we already calibrated, we didn't change anything, we can just click continue and the test will begin. The power supply is buying, biasing up the uh, MOSFET and then you can see we have our S parameter measurements again on the right side of the screen. Everything's been saved to that same folder uh, and at this point you're done. You have your S parameter measurements. 
uh, all the data is saved into a file or multiple files on your computer and you can move on to the next step of inputting that data into the power electronics model generator software where you can create the models to use uh, inside Keysight's uh, software simulation tools. Uh, we'll have another video about the PEMG, Power Electronics Model Generator, that you can watch. Uh, so please go ahead and watch that. And thanks for watching the video about S-parameter measurements.